first, select the pressure drop calculator on the left. After that, we choose to calculate the flow rate. For the shape of the pipe, we choose a circular pipe. We choose to enter the pressure P2, atmospheric pressure at the end of the pipe and enter the value 1.013 bar. In the field for the difference of pressures P1 minus P2 we choose the unit of measure MH2O and enter the value 10. This is the pressure that will be consumed as the pressure drop due to friction and local resistance in the pipeline. Then we enter the length of the pipeline in the amount of 100 meters. Select the pipe tab and in the pipe schedule list, set the value to schedule 10. From the offered list, select a pipe with a nominal diameter of 1 inch. Let's go back to the calculator and see that the inside diameter value is set in the pipe diameter field. Select the fluid tab, then select liquid, and select water from the fluid list. The physical properties of water are shown in the calculator. Select the pipe surface tab and select the small deposits of scale option from the list. We click on the average button and the value of the surface roughness of the pipe will be displayed in the calculator. Now on the left side of the calculator select the K-factor, fittings calculator. In the 90 degrees elbow section, select a 1 inch pipe diameter from the list. Leave the R to D ratio equal to 1.5 and add a total of 5 pieces. From the pipe entrance part, add 1 piece for the pipe inlet. As well as 1 piece in the pipe exit part. We can see that the calculator calculated the total value of the local resistance. We can go back to the pressure drop calculator. All known values for our pipeline are now set. It remains to click on the calculate button and look at the obtained value of water flow, as well as the speed of water flow through the pipeline.